So let me ask you something. You down with RJB? Yeah, you know me. Cherokee, Grey Wolf, 18 RJB to be exact. This is a tiny little toy hauler seen today in Black Label Edition, which actually does increase the weight a little bit, but there's a lot of really cool reasons for it. It comes in uh, close to 3,800 pounds, just slightly less than that in terms of dry weight. Uh, it's got a big heavy duty axle on it so that if you do still have like a full dresser or something like that you want to put in there or just a ton of cargo, this little camper can get it done. It is, I'm going to call it dynamite because it is uh, a lot of bang in a small package. Now I actually kind of want to start back here because there's a couple big hitter features that are very easy to overlook here. First of which is the fact that this still includes a patio party deck, which is something that is normally reserved only for bigger, fancier, allegedly higher dollar, more expensive toy haulers. Yet, this little thing, like I said, I call it dynamite, because we've got that 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. Also up top here, you can see a full backup camera. That is something that the Cherokee group has adopted pretty much across the board. So, you know, extra little safety feature. You can see what's going on, not to mention, you can use it for some campsite security. Uh, the good news is you're not looking through the monitor right now, because all you'd see is my goofy face with that balloonish kind of distorted view. And on the uh, black labels, you get some updated, or pardon me, enhanced uh, exterior lighting. Gives you a way better look at what you're doing back here. Handy not just for loading, but also if you are using this space for patio time. Now this thing right here, this is I think one of the smartest things they did on this floor plan. Because it's like a Swiss Army setup. You can only do anything with it. You've got the two benches that can fold down. You can, if you want, flip up the back door and flip that down for a guest sleeper. Which is cool, because if you notice, this still has that little kind of mini bunk above the master bed. So I would say that this is a good camp for a single person running around for a weekend or a couple, but frankly, this could be an interesting alternative to a small family camper. Maybe you have bicycles, maybe you have kayaks, or if you have dog kennels, this is a camper that can have a lot of different uses. Now there's about 20,000 different individual measurements that we could possibly capture on this one for you. There's, you know, between the countertop, between the walls, from here to there, from everywhere, Sam I am, well, Whatever you need us to measure, there's just no way, I, I've tried in the past to proactively measure everything. Give us a call or drop me a note here and, and maybe we can have one of our team members hard verify this for you. In exchange for the fair opportunity to earn your business, we are always happy to come out here and hand measure everything to make sure that your thing is going to fit in here. Now starting up top, there's a couple good things I want to take a peek at. First of all, the speaker system on this has a ceiling mounted subwoofer. Now. Um, you know, I came from a loud Southern Michigan bar band. Yeah! Obviously we weren't that good because now I'm slinging RV videos, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. And I appreciate, you know, good loud music every now and then. Uh, the uh, Coleman Mach AC unit up here, a little bit quieter and giving us that great full size power like a bigger travel trailer. And the uh, 12 volt DC compressor fridge, that is a 10.7 cubic foot model which means maximum cold storage capacity on this thing. Uh, down below, by the way, you'll see a couple things. First of all, the converter box on the left, this is lithium battery capable, and we happen to be a Battleborn dealer at Halet RV. And the little red key down there is our battery disconnect switch, so you can make sure that your batteries aren't getting eaten alive when you're not using it. In case you're curious, this funny looking box over here is our furnace, keeping us warm, and since it's just kind of a one room open concept, there's really not a lot of need here for a centralized furnace system. Now it is a smaller space. I think they did the best they could with the space they had available. And one of the areas where you can get creative to really maximize the function of the RV is by using the sink covers to act as a bit of a side splash over here. Although as you kind of saw and we'll see again in just a minute, when you have everything put back down in place, you actually have a pretty nice kind of setup. Now one of the few black label differences here on this floor plan versus the standard series on the interior is that we're getting solid surface countertops here. Just gives it that really high end kind of look and feel. Uh, down below also, they put all the open cabinet space they possibly could. Now uh, underneath the sink, you see how that one panel is kind of sectioned off. That's because there's stuff down there you don't want to get to, but this pocket actually is a lot bigger and deeper than you would think. Kind of like... Uh, you know, my emotional content. My wife thinks I'm just a big child, 
but I'm actually a much bigger, deeper child than she even realizes. Now, uh, your entertainment on this one is uh, over here above the big door side window. But remember, this RV still has studs roughly every 16 inches on center. So if you did feel like it, you could potentially put a TV just about anywhere you wanted. Like, I'm going to pivot you real quick to the left here, guys. But if you wanted to, you've got power outlets right there. If you got like a uh, like a smart TV that's going to hook up to some kind of Wi-Fi, you could mount it on the wall right there. And I'm going to pivot you one more time. On the opposite side of the camper, you see this camper is actually Wi-Fi ready. There's a little LCI uh, hotspot thing that you can plug in there if you are looking for those handy mobile data sources. And I tell you, small camper, but they got just the right amount of lights into it. And if you notice, the lights kind of curl around the RV. They're always in the middle of a cavity where they make the most impact. It's just smart. Now, starting up there, you see you've got a bedroom viewing window. The full entry door has a full viewing window. Big window over here, another big window. This thing just has windows all over the place. So especially... If you have this rear ramp patio space open right here, this little camper opens right up. Like it might be an 18 foot box when you're towing it, but it feels a lot bigger than that when you get to a destination. Up front here, you've got yourself a little queen bed down below. And as we curl around the corner, something that's not super obvious, I'm gonna pull one of these pillows out of the way. There's a headboard right there. This is a camp queen. But if you don't care about that headboard, that could be removed and it would be true queen capable in that case. So what bed size this has is really up to you. I like the headboard though with the outlets because it's a perfect place for like phones and CPAPs and all that. There's also, you can see separate lights kind of for upper and lower beds. Now they definitely bleed through a little bit. And this upper bed right here, because of the taper of the nose, it's a little tight, but a little tight with a little safety rail up there would do just fine. And look at the thickness of this thing look at that that thing is like me after a thanksgiving dinner it is thick girl <laughs> uh what else do we want to talk about how about the fact that you're not going to have to worry about seam tape peeling over time because they're actually using a t-molded trim on everything so that it all slots and locks in place it's kind of like me you wouldn't believe this but i actually recently took up popping and locking as i've gotten older my knees have started popping my back's been locking up and the bathroom it's in a really smart location because it's right next to the entry door so whether you're in transit or if you are at a destination even if you have something loaded back here chances are you can still get in you can still access the bathroom space right here now it is certainly not the largest bathroom ever but this is certainly not the biggest camper ever this is a very function first kind of room but the thing is like i'm a big guy and i fit on there pretty well i'm not gonna tell you it's like the taj mahal but you don't need all that it's a tiny camper it got the job done and I'm going to call this the Cherokee Shub. It's kind of a shower tub hybrid. It's just deep enough if you had somebody like a little baby you needed to, to bathe like bathtub style, you could. But it's also not so tall that it's hard to step into. And this is something I love here. On the black label Wolf Pups, you get the full big size XL vent fan, just like a bigger Cherokee or Gray Wolf camper uh, from the same family. And over here, like the one thing you haven't seen is a sink in this bathroom. So they include a small little kind of corner sink over here. And the uh, shower handle, it actually has another mount right there. It doubles, the shower doubles as the sink faucet. It's kind of brilliant because then the water just dribble drabbles right down here and goes down the drain and it's all over. Kind of like my music career. <coughs> <laughs> And one more thing before we step outside here. We also like to build these with the roll down kind of screen wall in the back. And I've got it in like half and half and half and half in every form that it can possibly have. It's actually two sections. They zip down the middle. So if you want to, you can just unzip that and pass right in and out. Now, as you see over here on the right hand side, if you want to just totally block out the sun, uh, you, you want it more like a privacy wall, but you want to maybe get some fresh air or something like that. You just want to hear the sights and the sounds. You can do that. Or you can open up these little screen panels. So if you can keep the bugs out while still uh, enjoying lots of fresh air, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, something I probably should have mentioned sooner is although we're looking at the Black Label Edition today, we do also keep this in stock about 50-50 in the standard series 18RJB2. 
Not only will that save you a, a nice chunk of money because the Black Label package adds some features to it, which naturally adds some cost, but it'll also save some weight, which seems to surprise a lot of people. Uh, the Black Label, though, I mean, it's, it's almost like they're two different trailers. They happen to share a layout, but that fiberglass, that high gloss fiberglass that goes over that uh, skeleton work, Oh my good gravy, does it look good? And because it has like a double offset layering uh, underneath it, basically this thing has like a 3 8 suit of armor wrapped around it effectively. And that is going to be very handy if you're in places like Hail Country, because it will basically just repel all but the most severe of impacts. It is also giving us frameless windows when we go to this package. Additionally, you get a nice hard shell propane cover and a power tongue jack on the front to do the heavy lifting for us. Black Label does a lot of things actually, far more than just pretty fiberglass. Now regardless of which version you're looking at, the core smart Cherokee features, like little safety chain hooks and the plug buddy, they're always gonna be there. Now from there, we're just a wrap around the corner to the city water hookup and the freshwater fill station, as well as a full outside utility shower. That right there is something a lot of little single axle campers don't tend to have. And on a toy hauler, so that you can hose your toys off before you track a lot of dirt in your trailer, man, that is useful. That's the kind of information you can really get from our videos here at Halet RV, folks. Anybody can walk around a trailer with a camera. People like us that actually go camping, and people like us that actually know things like the fact that this has a gas and electric auto ignition fast recharge water heater instead of a gas only sometimes manual ignition water heater you sometimes find on single axle campers. That's the kind of in-depth under the skin things that you're gonna get from us here at Halet RV. If you appreciate information like that, Hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave us some comments, let us know that uh, you know what we're doing good for you because uh, you know that those seem like boring facts, but those are the kind of things that you're going to use every single camping trip, and when they're not there, that's when you're not going to like them. We're gonna talk a little bit more about this bigger, more aggressive tire package in just a minute. One thing I do wanna point out for you though is down here, you can see next to that rear stabilizer jack, you have a little sewer hose caddy. This RV has limited outside storage, and Cherokee didn't want you cross-contaminating both your freshwater stuff or even just like your picnic table or, you know, lawn chairs or something like that by throwing your stinky slinky down in there because there's nothing like grabbing the armrest of your uh, favorite lawn chair only to find out your sewer hose was in contact with it. Then you rub your eyes, and now what you got? Bam! Pink eye. Nobody wants it. Uh-oh. Uh Weight capacity, 500 pounds. I'm going to have to lay off the Christmas treats. Now as we jump over here with the patio open, uh, magically teleporting into frame is Mr. Mike Eraka. We call him Mike Merica. Mike's one of our quality control agents over here, pretending like I'm not talking about him while he's on video. What a professional, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a hand to Magic Mike Eraka. Not quite the dancer uh, as the other Magic Mike, but hey, you get the idea. So even before these RVs are off the truck at Halet RV, we are proactively quality controlling this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. There's plenty of other dealerships that have the exact same camper. Our goal is to make sure you have a great experience and it stays in your driveway instead of coming back to ours. Got a little spot right there. If I come too close to a barley pop and just even inhale some fumes, I tend to get about half tipsy two sheets to the wind. So it's nice to be able to tie me down so I don't go wandering off my campsite. Now this RV has the adventure package. That is something that's available on pretty much any of the Wolf Pups, but it's standard here on the uh, uh, 18 RJB. It is a bigger, more aggressive tire, very much like, say, a Geo Pro with an off-road uh, package. It has an axle riser kit, and then it puts that strip of diamond plate all around the skirt of this thing just to help any kind of stray stones or sticks or brush from scraping up that gorgeous high-gloss fiberglass that we get in the Black Label package. Now, there's a couple things going on with Black Label here, like those just seamless, frameless windows right there. And those windows, this skin, and that awesome entry door that they've gone to on the Cherokee family stuff, it gives you, again, so much visibility off the door side of this RV. I think that's one of the things that really helps people really enjoy this camper right here. Because, again, remember, we had a full viewing uh, window in that door, but you sure don't see it. You don't have privacy issues, and the little kind of graphic work, that little frosting they do at the bottom. Uh, leave me a comment, how good does that look? Now these are the easy adjust variety of stable steps, but one of the other cool things here is they are fully removable. Not only can those legs operate independently, but if you wanna straight take those steps off, there's just two little pins that you pull and bam, you're done. 
Now, another thing I want to point out here, this is a really, I, I know I'm goofy, but this one's, this one's serious. You, you have rear corner stabilizer jacks. A lot of campers have that. But you also have front corner stabilizer jacks. And so many single axle campers don't have those guys. As a person who actively camps, I can tell you how important that is. Now, you'll always have a gas grill quick connect up here, which is kind of handy. Also known as Uncle Josh's cooker hooker, in case you got some other kind of cooker you want to hook on up there. And up front, you got yourself a nicely sized, generous uh, storage compartment. And you might notice uh, above that big giant spare tire, which when you get the adventure package, you naturally get a matching spare tire. Well, the spare tire is optional, but it matches the tire package on the camper. I guess that's a better way. I don't. I want to make sure that that's clear. Uh, you can see how there's gas struts to easily lift that bed though. So if you want to get to the storage under here from the inside or the outside, you can do it either way. And if you're looking at one with the juice pack, that little magic box up there is our charge controller. Keeping the batteries topped off, and one of the things I like about this is when the battery's disconnected, the panel's still going to the battery, which is just a brilliant design decision that is very easily overlooked from a lot of factories. But if you're noticing, Cherokee's got them details, folks. So if you found all this useful, or entertaining at least, <laughs> hit that like button and then subscribe to our channel here at Halid RV and leave us some comments. Let us know what did you like about this camper? What could it do better? What could I do better? I'm always looking for feedback, and you'd be surprised how much your feedback can get back to the manufacturers. And short of that, remember folks, we've been here since 1989. We are family owned and operated, and we're, we're just a big dealership in a small town. We can get you the big city deals while still providing that small town service. That's why we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, except for hidden dealer fees. We just, we don't like those any more than you do, so we don't do them. And if that sounds good to you, give us a call. We'll get you camping. Doesn't matter if you live close or far, they're on wheels. We can get them there. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone. Bam! Pink eye. Nobody wants it.